Hello there, Fit Golfers. My name is Carolina, also known as the Fit Golfer Girl. Welcome back to another episode of 10 Minute Golf Fitness Workouts. Today, we are focusing on hip mobility to get those hips turning during the golf swing. Let's get started. So just a quick reminder of how this is gonna go down. I'm gonna show you three exercises. You're going to do each one of them for 10 reps, back to back to back, and then you're gonna repeat the circuit three times for a total of 10 minutes for a better golf swing. Let's get started with exercise number one. All right, so for the hip flexor stretch, you're gonna get in a half kneeling position like shown. You can put a pad or a pillow under your knee just so it doesn't hurt. But here's the most important part. I need you to get into a tuck what people call as tucking your tailbone in, or what I like to call flipping your pelvis up and in. This is the most important part of the whole thing. In fact, as soon as I do it, I already feel that deep hip flexor stretch. By the way, the hip flexor is a muscle located in the front of your hip, super important and also super tight because we sit down too much. So remember, get into this position. As soon as you do that tuck, you're already going to feel that deep stretch. But here are a couple ways that you can make the exercise a little more intense. So get in position, tuck, Bring it up, bring that arm up. You can move your hips forward a little bit. As long as you do not lose the tuck, it should work. For a little more intensity, you can turn your body to the opposite side of the leg that's being stretched. By the way, the leg that's being stretched is the leg that is back. And then for even more intensity, make sure you stay, you stay in that tuck and then you can hook your hand over with the opposite leg and just open up as far as you can go. Remember, it's all about feeling that good, deep hip flexor stretch. So return to starting position and repeat 10 times. Exercise number two is a modified pigeon. This one feels so good. Check it out. You're gonna just get on your hands and knees. From here, you're going to take one of your legs and bring it against the opposite side of your body and just get deep in there. Get it as far back as you can. Push that butt back a little bit. You're gonna feel a deep stretch through the glute of the leg that is forward. Make sure that you don't feel any discomfort in your knee. Then bring it back and you're gonna repeat on the opposite side. So cross the leg towards the back, sit into that stretch, big stretch in those glutes, and then back to the beginning. You're gonna do 10 reps of this exercise per side. If you're doing them alternating like I am doing them now, you're gonna do 20 total. But just make sure, once again, for any mobility exercise, you gotta do them very, very mindfully. So make sure that you're sitting into that stretch and intensifying it with every single rep. Before we continue with exercise number three, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, exercise number three is a 90-90 stretch. Not gonna lie, this one's a little bit complicated. So let me show you the hardest version first, and then I'm gonna show you some modifications. So as you can see, I'm sitting here and I have two 90 degree um, angles with my legs. Hardest way to do it is to try to maintain your balance. Obviously try to keep this butt cheek down close to the ground, and then you're gonna swap it in the other direction to another two set of 90 degree angles. And you're gonna go back and forth from that position 20 times alternating sides or 10 times per side. However, that's actually pretty hard. So here are a couple things that you can do to make this exercise a little easier. You can lean back a little bit and do the same motion, but holding yourself up with your legs below, just like this. So as you can see, you're gonna be going into two 90 degree angles. This one's actually Fairly simple to do. Just remember while you're doing this, try to keep the butt cheek of the leg that's coming in as close to the ground as you can. That way you can intensify the stretch and that's gonna make it a lot harder. Remember, 10 reps per side or 20 alternating if you're doing alternating. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this workout. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with a friend. See you guys for the next one.